everyone and welcome to or back to my channel and also welcome to the third episode of building a whole equestrian estate. I feel like we've come quite far and we've built quite a bit in the only the two episodes which I'm really excited about. I feel like everything has turned out quite well um but in this episode we're going to be building the inside of the barn which I feel like for a while I was really worried because I had no idea what to do. I just, it's really large and I was just lost and I didn't know what to do, but I finally have a good idea and so I'm really excited to show you guys. But yes, I hope you have been enjoying the series so far. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think, but let's go ahead and jump right into the video and begin building. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, I'm just going to kind of clean up the roof a bit and add a couple little things, but you may be wondering why I'm using stairs. So here's a little hack. You probably, I don't know if you probably already know, but so um, blocks and like slabs and things seem to block the light and then stairs seem to kind of let the light through. So if you were to use slabs, you would create a little shadow here, but if you use stairs, the light actually kind of seeps through it so your barn is going to be a lot more bright and you won't have to use a lot of artificial lighting that sometimes doesn't quite look right and looks a little bright and weird but I try to use stairs as much as I can it just helps the light to seep through so now I'm just going to fill this in with deep slate slabs I just wasn't liking how the weird white strip was looking so just gonna fill it all in with slabs so the roof is looking a bit better, but I am actually going to leave all of this open and I'm going to add some beams, but I tried roofing it in and having to where there would be like a loft, but I didn't like it. It felt very cramped and weird, so I decided to just leave all of this open, but I figured I would need to add some beams just to make it look a little more, I don't know, it just, it looks a lot better than... The plain roof and it's actually a lot more logical so yeah we're gonna add about four beams you don't want to do too many or else it looks kind of weird so you're just gonna add a few and make sure they're kind of far apart and then yep so that's not it i'm actually i'm gonna go in with some oak slabs and i'm gonna make like a little cross x thing just to make it look a little more like a beam instead of just a log going straight across so i'm just going to kind of layer the slabs like this these are always I never I can't stand doing this because sometimes they will do that and then you have to go back but I'm just going to kind of stack them all the way up <laughs> until you get to this and then you're going to make it go the other way just like this it's not too complicated but these are always quite frustrating and then that's it so i feel like that yeah that's all you're gonna do and then just repeat the same thing on the other beams but if you didn't get it i'll let you watch this one as well it's not that hard but yeah it just makes it look a lot better than a straight log across Okay, so I just finished the beams and here's how they look. I feel like I feel like they turned out pretty well. I really do like how they look. But now let's actually start on the stalls, which I'm so excited about. So we're just gonna take brick and we're gonna do three blocks of brick and then three for the entrance, three again, and then we're gonna make a little pole here with the deep slate and then take the brick all the way back to the wall and then same thing, three again. Make sure and leave three for the entrance and then deep slate, a little pole and then brick all the way back. And then I'm gonna take um, these retextured trap doors and just put them here on both sides. And then I'm going to take my retextured stall doors and put them on either side and then slabs um dark oak slabs and then make sure the uh deep slate pole is one higher than the slab it just looks a lot better than if it were flush but so i will link the video in the description on how to make these trap doors and stall doors um i did make a video on how to retexture them 
because they are just retextured and it's quite easy to do so if you want to figure that out i will link the video in the description but also keep in mind that this is pe so and i'm on an apple iphone so i'm not sure how it all works on like pc or android or anything like that but i'll link the video in the description but anyway here is how our stalls are looking i really love the doors they're one of my favorite things so we're just gonna do the same thing on this side and then I'm going to, okay, so I actually, I changed these. <laughs> I tried regular oak. I didn't like how that looked. So I decided to settle on spruce instead of dark oak. I just feel like the dark oak kind of clashes with the back of the wall and it just doesn't look the greatest. So I changed it to spruce and I really like how it looks. So here is our design of stalls. I feel like they're super nice. So basically I'm just going to fill up this whole barn with stalls and then we will do the floor. So here's me failing miserably at filling in these stalls and <laughs> don't you hate it when this happens, it's the worst. So let's do the floor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take concrete and I'm gonna kind of make like little concrete strips down the sides and then I'm gonna fill it in with mossy brick slab is what it's called. But also the bricks, if you have noticed, they are different. Um, it's a texture pack and it's called Better Bricks and I will have it linked in the description if you want to download it. Um, but yes, and I'm also gonna make the concrete strips too wide and then that's it. I'm just gonna fill it all in. Voila, here it is, all filled in. Um, I feel like it's looking pretty good. The only thing is I wish I wouldn't have made the aisle quite as wide. It just, it feels quite big, but it's not too bad. I am gonna put tack boxes on either side <clears throat> by each stall, which I think will make it feel a little, a little bit better. But you know, this barn is quite fancy and very open and airy, which, you know, it's, it's doing good things for me, so. But now we're going to make the tack up area, which I'm so excited about. I really love how this looks, so let's get started. I'm just gonna fill this in with the mossy brick slab. I just, it'll make it flow a lot better. Obviously it needs to connect to the main, the main part, but where the grass is, I'm going to just fill all of that in with concrete because you won't really be able to see it because there's going to be, um, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take a dark oak fence posts and I'm just going to stack them up to two and then, um, make sure that there are three blocks between each post. I'm gonna take dark oak planks and just put them here and then do the same thing on the other side, which I already did. And then I'm gonna go in with um, end rods, which are also retextured to kind of match the dark oak posts. Um, and I use this for my fencing as well, but you're just gonna put them here and then add some little gray buttons for some extra detail. And then we're just gonna do the same thing on this side. So now I'm gonna take some black wool carpet and just make some little mats and then cut out a little hole for the drain and then do the same thing on this side and actually so the posts on the side are coming out further than the other side and it needs to be flush with the wall so let me just move these back real quick and okay so let's finish these mats just make sure that there's a little hole for the drain and then do the same thing on this side but I really do like this design. It's very new. I've never ever used it before. Really, I only have ever used one design of like a tack up stall area, which is the design that I have in my barn at Heritage Hill. So definitely new, which is nice. It's always nice to have new things, but I'm going to use the retextured trapdoors for the little drain holes. But yes, I really like it. And when you put a horse in here, it actually looks quite realistic and super fun. Okay, I just finished with the tack up areas on the other side. So now there's eight total cross ties, which is super nice. But 
So I, <laughs> you're probably wondering why I'm absolutely destroying this stall, but um, so I'm building a tack room because I, there is no tack room or feed room in this barn. It's all just stalls and of course the cross ties. But you know, I was thinking that it really does need one. It's just, I feel like it's not complete without like a little tack room. And this is gonna be super small, but I think it'll be fine. I think it just really needed one. So I'm just gonna build one here in place of the stall. This isn't the most detailed tacker feed room that I've ever built, but it's it's all right. And you know, it's kind of kind of cozy and kind of cute. But um, I have the little like tack locker things on the other side, and then on this side, I'm just gonna make a bunch of feed bins for different feed. And then in the corners, I'm just gonna put some little cabinets for like treats and things for the horses. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these trap doors on the bottoms of here as well. But this is just, it's kind of like a combined feed and tack room, sort of. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that it, it works, even though it's not my favorite, but it's fine. <laughs> and then I'm just going to add a little plant for some extra detail, but that's it. Not a whole lot. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. <laughs> oh, also, no, I'm going to put some little um, item frames here. Just to make it look a little cuter, because it's kind of plain, but <laughs> it's fine. side of it is super plain so let's spruce it up a little bit I'm gonna add a little doormat and then I'm gonna add a little hanging light thingy and then some plants just to make it look a little <laughs> a little less plain there's just something about it that kind of looks a little off so let's try and fix that but this I feel like makes it a little bit better but you know not my favorite but I think it was needed and you know it's not that bad so we're just gonna roll with it So I thought it would be really fun to let you guys choose the name of this place. So if you have any good name ideas, please let me know down in the comments. And then I will be putting the name on these tack boxes. For an example, I will show you what I did at Heritage Hill. So I'll be doing something similar to that. So if you're the lucky one to have your name chosen, I will be putting it on the tack box. So I thought that would be a fun little thing to do since I know some of y'all like the like interactive videos. So I thought that would be cool. But if you have any suggestions, then let me know. And also a lot of you guys have always asked me how I make my tack boxes. So it would be a great opportunity to kind of show you how I do it. And it would be fun for y'all to like watch me design it, I guess. I don't know. But basically they're just super large maps and I just kind of have to lay it all out and then design it. It's a little bit hard, but it works and I'm sure a lot of y'all could do it. So I will definitely make a video about it, but yeah. I think this is going to be all that I'm really doing for the interior of the barn, but thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!